Samsung makes the Galaxy Note 8 official, HP returns to the mobile space with a new 7-inch tablet, and Nokia releases a lot of phones. Cheap phones, that is. I'm Jaime Rivera, tanned and ready for action, and this is Pocket Now Daily. Oh man, where do I start? So far we already have 23 MWC 2013 videos and this was just the first day. There is a lot more content coming up so stay tuned and make sure you follow the playlist for everything that's happening at MWC 2013. But so far one of the hottest news is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 which was silently released. It is now available with the usual suspect of specifications and everything that we already knew and the design is pretty much everything that was leaked. Now sadly as always we don't have specific dates for a launch but obviously this Galaxy Note 8 could be your next device. So make Make sure you follow the link to the description because we do have already a hands-on video and also a comparison with the iPad mini and with the Nexus 7. And speaking of Samsung, they've also released this new media player based on the Exynos processor and it's being run by Android. This looks a lot like the Apple TV where you could actually just stream the content from your Galaxy device into your TV using this box through a Wi-Fi network, but it's still hard to know if this device will allow you to also purchase content, rent movies, and everything else you can do with the Apple TV. Now stay tuned, it'll be released in April, no pricing as always, but stay tuned. Now let's move over to Nokia. They've just launched four new devices, and I'm not going to say smartphones because they're not all smartphones, but these are cheap new mid-tier devices that are planning to bring Nokia technologies into the entry-level market as if the Nokia Lumia 920 wasn't already cheap enough. We've got the Lumia 520 and the Lumia 720, good designs. We already got a lot of hands-on videos available, but obviously none of these devices are overwhelming enough to say, wow, this is the device that I'm going to get right now. Most probably the Lumia 920 will return or remain big being the flagship for a long time. But there are also two feature phones that I'm not even gonna waste my time mentioning. Just make sure you follow links in the description for full details and videos of these devices. Now let's talk about HP. And don't look at me funny, I did say that right, HP. Can you believe they just launched their first Android tablet and it looks a lot like the Nexus 7 though? Well, it's got a cheaper price tag. It only costs $170. And it's just interesting to see HP come back to the mobile space after so many attempts, so many failed attempts. And for those of you asking yourselves, whatever happened to WebOS? Well, can you believe the company just sold it to LG? And no, it's not to power smartphones. The new smart TVs that are coming from LG in the future will have WebOS. Uh, sad news for every one of us, but good news for WebOS. They finally figured out what to do with it. And finally, for the intriguing news of the day, we've got more Samsung news. And can you believe this is the company that did not even show up with a press event for MWC, and still they are the hottest news of the day. And the reason why is because they showed a pull up a stunt that pretty much removed the spotlight from every other company that published anything at MWC today. They just sent out press invites for their unpacked event for March 14th, where they plan to reveal their Galaxy S4. Yeah, just think about that. It happens on the first day of MWC, and it also happens a day before the HTC One gets released. You get the point. But that leads me to the question of the day. Is the Galaxy S4 a hot enough device for you to actually wait for it? After everything you've seen today, including all the devices that were launched today, LG and just about everything, please follow the links. There are so much that I'm not gonna mention all of them, but just think about it. Are you willing to wait for the Galaxy S4 or get an HTC One a day later, or pretty much, I don't know, get any other devices that were mentioned today? I really want the HTC One, I just sadly don't like the whole ultra pixel idea, so leave us a comment down below. What are you waiting for? I am waiting for the Galaxy S4. As always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. But please stay tuned because we've got a lot more MWC content coming up. Congress 2013. For one week in February, nearly every major player in the mobile space assembles in Barcelona to show off the newest and hottest smartphones, tablets, and everything in between. And Pocket Now will be there. We'll bring you on-site previews, editorials, videos, and podcasts right from the show floor, and in-depth explorations of technology you won't see on store shelves for months. If you love mobile technology like we do, follow and subscribe to Pocket Now so you don't miss a thing. Coverage starts on February 21st.